Welcome back. In this chapter, we are going to talk about how the mind works and our psychological reflexes when we consume media. It is very important to understand that our mood, emotions, age, gender, and cultural upbringing plays a big part in how we consume, interact, and produce media. We each will have a unique interpretation of a piece of content. Our bodies may not be moving, but in our heads, we're constantly trying to connect what we're hearing, seeing, or reading. When we react to something by connecting it to everything else we know, we may be in the grip of cognitive distortion. Achha. Cognitive distortion is basically thoughts that can cause individuals to perceive reality inaccurately. I don't know when I am in the grip of a cognitive distortion. It happens automatically. But unless I learn to notice that I am caught up in a cognitive distortion, it can have powerful yet invisible effects on how I understand and react to the news. You see, there are many kinds of cognitive distortions. Let's take a look at one that relates to horoscopes and fortune telling, called the Barnum Effect. The Barnum Effect, also called as the Fora Effect, is when you read a personality description and you think, Oh my God, that is so me. Wow. Let's say you're reading a text that claims to predict some event in your future. It seems really convincing and plausible. The truth, however, is that its content is quite generalized. Though they seem so specific, the details could apply to anyone. But no worries, your brain is determined to find a pattern. When people really want to believe in what they hear or read, their brains will often ignore information that gets in the way, focusing only on the information that confirms the prediction or leads to the desired outcome. Basically, we only see what we really want to see. Sometimes even hearing the hard facts that contradict our beliefs is not enough to make us change our minds about certain deeply held positions and beliefs. It's the same with symbols. Symbols might mean different things to different people, but we will apply our meaning to it without always looking at how other people may experience it different. Accepting the differences between people is essential in a multicultural society. Another example of cognitive bias is called confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is the tendency of people to favor information that confirms their existing beliefs and hypotheses. Often, we give more weight to evidence that confirms our beliefs while ignoring or dismissing evidence that challenges it. Basically, we're gathering information selectively and interpreting it in a biased way. So it's no surprise that people will fight furiously to defend their point of view and look to any possible sources of information that might support it. It can be a challenging and sometimes painful process for us to admit that we might be wrong, let alone adopt a new point of view. When a story helps to confirm our personal beliefs, we often accept it without really considering the information, its source of other potentially contrasting positions. Instead, we should challenge ourselves to look for alternative points of view, check multiple sources and analyse information with a critical eye. Be aware of your bias and learn to discern.